Happy Sunday, s u n l i g h t friends! Welcome to Sunday Worship, the first Sunday Worship of 2021! Friends, did you guys get some good Christmas gifts this past year? Yay! Wow! This year in 2021, the year of the Lord's favor, God has blessed us with a very special gift. Can you guys guess what that gift is? Hmm, an iPad. Pretty good guess, but that's not what it is. Do you guys want to know what it is? <gasps> Let's count to three to find out. Are you ready? One, two, Three! Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Friends, our special gift to Sunlight Ministry is Pastor Sylvia! Hey friends, I'm so excited to join our Sunlight team to praise and worship with you all. Although we can't see each other face to face, I am looking forward to the many more days to come. Well then, oh, that reminds me, Pastor Grace, I heard Hannah Kim is doing my favorite song today. <gasps> Which song is that? You gotta put your hand up. Point your finger. Ready? This, This is living, living now. now. All right, girls and boys, off your feet. It is time for worship. All right, my friends, I want you guys to get your groove on. Get out of your seats. Rise and worship with me as we sing. This is living now. <laughs> Waking up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living With you, I've made my decision You lift me up, Jesus You lift me up, fill my eyes with wonder For every young in your love This freedom's untainted With you, no moment is wasted Here we go, see the sun Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold and the Let's go, sunlight. Understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch. And still I stop my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end. This is living. Neighbor, the life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! We sing this is living. This is You take me. You take me higher than I've been before. It's your perfect love that sees me so. God, your freedom is an open door. You are everything I want and more. Woo! 
friends, catch your breath because we're going to continue to worship and sing together that. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God can If you believe it, clap with me. Clap, clap. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Jesus had been teaching crowds of people by the Sea of Galilee. It was getting late, so he told his disciples to get into the boat and go to the other side of the sea. Jesus sent the crowds away and went up on the mountain to pray by himself. That evening, the boat was far from the shore. The wind blew and the waves tossed the boat around. Jesus was still on the mountain alone. Around three in the morning, 
Jesus came toward his disciples walking on the sea. When the disciples saw Jesus, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they cried. Right away, Jesus spoke to them, have courage, it's me, do not be afraid. Peter answered, Lord, if it really is you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, come. Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water toward Jesus. But when Peter saw how strongly the wind was blowing, he was afraid. Peter began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed Peter. Jesus said, you have little faith. Why do you doubt? They got into the boat and the wind stopped. Then everyone in the boat worshiped Jesus and said, truly, you are the son of God. Jesus proved that he can be trusted. His miracles, teaching, death, and resurrection show that he is who he says he is. Only Jesus can save us when we look to him in faith. Happy Sunday! Hey, Pastor Sylvia, tell me about those things on your arms. Well, these are my floaties. Since it's the beginning of the new year, I decided I'm going to make some New Year's resolution. I'm going to learn how to swim. <gasps> wow, nice. Those floaties are sure looking pretty cool. They're actually very important when you're learning to swim. Mm -hmm. And they help me float in the water so I don't have to be afraid of sinking. In today's Bible story, we can see Peter, the disciple, sinking in the water. Oh no! Peter probably needed some of my floaties. Actually, Peter had something even better than floaties. Let's take a look at today's key passage. It comes from Matthew 14, 22 to 32. Let's read it together. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and he began to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. And this is the reading of God's word. Thanks be to God. Friends, last week we talked about how Jesus fed over 5,000 people. Right after Jesus performed this miracle, he actually told his disciples to go to the other side of the lake. And once the disciples got into the boat, it began to drift far away from the shore. Jesus had went to a remote place beside the mountainside to pray. Later, he came back down and saw the boat that was off in the distance. Right before dawn, Jesus went out to them and began walking on the water. When the disciples saw this, they grew very afraid. They said, it's a ghost. <gasps> Jesus immediately told them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. The disciples thought it was a ghost because it was actually Jesus. Peter cried out to Jesus, Jesus, if it's really you, tell me to come out to the water. And Jesus called him and Peter began to walk on the water. When Peter saw the winds around him, he was so afraid and he began to sink. Jesus, save me, he cried out. Friends, do you think Peter 
was saved by Jesus from drowning? Absolutely, the Bible tells us that Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. And then they climbed into the boat and the winds died down around them. All the disciples were so amazed. They even praised Jesus as the Son of God. Wow. Friends, today's Bible story proves that Jesus is trustworthy. All we have to do is have faith in Him. And that is our key word today, faith. Friends, we can have faith in Jesus not just during difficult times, but every single day. Jesus answers our prayers. You know, He's already answered our prayers by giving us salvation from our sins. Amen, Pastor Grace. Pastor Grace, speaking of New Year's resolutions, what is yours for 2021? Mm, I think I'm going to learn how to bike. You know, there's so many beautiful trails in Seattle. Friends, do you have any resolutions? You know, resolutions can be made at the beginning of the year so we can improve our skills right now or even make new ones. Let's hear what some of our friends' resolutions are. for sharing friends resolutions are kind of like challenges and as we look forward to 2021 we can make sure that we are learning to be faithful in everything we do to bring glory to god just like jesus did here on earth amen let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for being a god who is trustworthy holy spirit help us to have faith in you, especially during the hard times. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hi there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Julia from East Orange, New Jersey asks, How can I have a stronger faith? Oh, Julia, that is a question we all need to keep asking ourselves. Great question. So here's the thing, we know that faith needs to be grown. It's kind of like a, a muscle. Some people have called it a muscle that you have to keep exercising and stretching it so it grows and becomes stronger. And so how do we do that? Well, there are a few ways that we can do that. The first one I can think of is by spending more time in the Bible. The more we read the Bible, the more we study it, the more we understand who God is, the way he works, the greater confidence we have in Him. Uh, we know how we're to live. And so reading the Bible is perhaps one of the greatest ways you can grow in your faith. Other ways are prayer, talking with God, asking Him to grow you, asking Him to help you learn and, and to live on faith. Another way is by worshiping, being part of a church. This is why it's so important that we're part of a, of a family of faith and we gather regularly and worship together and study together and talk through these things, learn from one another. But all these things lead us to this one idea that I think is really important you hear. You have to stretch your faith. You have to put yourself in positions that are uncomfortable at times to grow in that faith. That's good. Think again about muscles. Think about you know, lifting weights. Lifting weights is not easy. Uh, you, you have to strain and stretch yourself and you add more weight and, and there are times you're like, I don't know if I can do this, but you keep pushing. And it's through that exertion that your muscles grow stronger. If you never put weights on the, on the barbell and just lifted an empty barbell, you're not gonna really gain muscle. So it's the same thing with our faith. If we're never stretching ourselves, if we're never stepping into those uncomfortable areas of life, if we're never sitting down with that person in the cafeteria and, and praying that God opens a conversation to talk about your faith with him or her, then you're not gonna grow as much. It's through those uncomfortable, stretching moments that we really grow. So I wanna encourage you to do that. Share your faith with other people. Go on mission trips live for Christ day by day, and you will see your, your faith grow by leaps and bounds, I believe, when you do that. So I hope that has been helpful. And again, that's something that we all need to be doing. So a question back for you, who or what are you looking to, to be secure? Where is your faith found? 
for joining us for our 2021 worship. Woo-woo! Friends, I pray that as we enter into this new year, that you and I will continue to run this race of faith, believing in the name of Jesus Christ, that He will always provide for us. My friends, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!